So, um, I've quickly loaded my Mixpad um, editor for my MacBook. And what you want to do, you go to the I.O. patch and first of all, have a look. Um, here you can see those are input sockets now. So meaning this comes from local and goes to those input channels. Or this comes from the S-Link or from the USB and goes over to the left. So if you go to the outputs, you will notice that now there is written output sockets. So meaning um, your outputs are going to your local outputs or to your S-Link or to your USB. And this is the page you we want to spend a little time on <laughs> together, I guess. Um, and you've got two things to record or two possibilities. Here you can use the IP direct outs. That means those are the direct outs um, that have some options. Or you choose the tie lines. They basically only send the audio level through and right to where you want to have them. So that means uh, if you click tie lines and whatever goes through your local out will be right now received from the USB. So whatever is sent through the S-Link will now go to the USB. So depending on, on where you got your uh, inputs from, so let's say you have, you use the 16 inputs from your board, this will be the setting, tile lines, local, and you want a USB, meaning there they go. And now you have to do the patching. Remember in, oh, in software 1.5, you have to engage this button or you will not be able to um, send them out. So you see local one, my tile lines from local one to USB and so on and so forth until you got all the channels you want. Uh, you will notice those are 16 local outputs and uh, by that you can see um, I've got an SQ5. I'm not sure if SQ6 or 7 have more, um, but at least you know, okay, those are the, uh, the local outs on my actual mixing desk. Okay, and as I said, tile lines, they send the audio unprocessed through, no possibilities, no digital trim, no nothing. And if you want to have some influence on what is leaving your board, you go to the outputs. As you can see, I'm still on the USB tab. So, and now we would have to link those uh -huh, uh -huh, and tell, yes, 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 yes. My outputs go through the direct output options to USB. And uh, what you can do here um, in the routing, there you've got the direct out buttons. This is a uh, Oh, sorry, we, we have been there already. So, um, and here you can choose. Maybe this option is ticked on your board because if you say, yes, please follow my faders, everything you do on a fader will be recorded to USB. So this is, should be unticked. Follow mute is okay, but if you want to, and so on and so forth. And here you can even choose uh, on, on which point in the uh, signal chain um, your signal is going to USB, post preamp, post the filter, the, the high pass filter, post the gate. And so basically, if you turn down to the last one, post delay, that means this is um, after all your processing has been, uh, has been, yeah, processed, your signal has been processed, then it's going to, um, if you take the direct outs, uh -huh, outputs, direct outs to USB. And this is, um, maybe the answer you're looking for, Mr. KG Inkling. I hope that helps and uh, try it and um, tell us if it worked. Good night.